EA Sports within the game. He just took off on that one, and he might have just won the game for him. Hey, hey. DJ Mosky, let's get it. Let's get it. We the champions here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. Bringing home victory straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Call the promoters. I just pulled up in this thing with my soldiers. I blew it and I'm still. Last minute, I'ma need me some. Call up Khalifa. Bring the in the. You know I stay with some bad little baby. CGOD, baby, know that's a gang gang. Crazy girls after the game. We going on this, we going to say Point us, point us, point us, point us, point us Yeah, homies got me point us, point us We get awards, but we get God the glory I'm shooting my shot, most times I be scoring Do this for my city, I bring on the trophy Feel like Freddie Mercury, we are We the champions Here in Los Angeles We doing numbers Bringing home victory, straight out the huddle I met the plug, introduced to my brother My squad superior, ain't none above us We doing numbers Gang in the building, we taking it over. Feeling like I can't miss. Baby, it's all in the wrist. You really wanna be the boss that's expensive. Ain't the real champ if you never defend it. Put in that work, I'ma make them remember. I just broke down hella trees yelling timber. Stand in the line, they put me in the center. It blow their mind when they see how I'm winning. Went back and doubled up, now you in trouble. My I hustle, my diamonds are huddled up. TGOD got this off the muscle. Less me about my life, man. I love it, I love it. Got so many rings, I need room for another one. Been through the pain, now it ain't no more struggle. My team win the game, put our face on the cover, brother. We, we the, the champions. champions. Here in Los Angeles, we doing numbers. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Chicago Bears. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Second down throw coming by Willis. Caught by Woods. So the completion results there in nine yards. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stop the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players, it gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. They'll run 
for it with Henry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run it again with Henry. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Willis. He gets this one to Burks. Finding room at midfield. They find some open field here. Down the left sideline. Inside the ten. Touchdown, Titans! Traylon Burks, 65 yards. And the Titans will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Bullet good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. Not just a cover guy, Roger McCreary getting back behind the line of scrimmage on that play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. An extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Now it's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 36. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six. Fields over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 18. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. We've seen that before. Jeffrey Simmons making a stop behind the line. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Completion here to Claypool. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. On third down, Herbert. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Khalil Herbert, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. The throw over the middle taken in. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. To the air on first down, here's Willis. They got a man over the middle, it's Woods. And they're gonna get this up to midfield. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That pass taken in by Burks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Right back to the air with Willis. He gets it to Burks again. And he's gonna be taken down at about the 33. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. 
To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. A first down carry for Henry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Bullock's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. It's a squib kick fielded just inside the 20. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. On first and ten, here's Fields. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. And it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And now look at this, big game. it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bears going to see the football first and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Here's a give to Herbert, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete here to commit, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 16. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Field's going to toss this quickly out wide, complete. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Chase Claypool, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 14-10.
kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. From the 29, Willis has his complete to Woods. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Rolling to it. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession. 